Patrick Mahomes, money. He went into Los Angeles to your beloved Chargers and destroyed them for 28.3 fantasy points. Considering how bad the matchup was on paper, this was a big surprise. Mahomes, man, he's the real deal. At number four, Adrian Peterson. Did he find the fountain of youth in the offseason? I don't know, because he had 28 touches and put up over 22 PPR points against the Arizona Cardinals. Maybe their defense is just that bad. I don't know, but I'd be selling high on AD right now. But in week one, he was great. At number three... Eh, Royce Freeman, this one is depressing. He played 39% of the snaps, but it was Philip Lindsay who played 35% of the snaps, who is the better fantasy option. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on Royce Freeman, but week one was a disappointment. At number two, Deshaun Watson. This one was a surprise because Watson, well, he wasn't very good. He was running for his life. The offensive line was an issue, but he only scored 11 fantasy points. And remember last year in his six starts, he averaged over 27. So I'm sure a lot of fantasy owners are a little bit worried about Deshaun Watson. And let's go to number one, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Are you kidding me? Five total touchdowns? Really? I thought the Saints defense was supposed to be good. Marshawn Lattimore, where were you? Well, Ryan Fitzpatrick was a big time scorer for fantasy fans. And you know what, buddy? He's probably not going to get picked up in a lot of leagues because he's facing the Eagles in week two. 